Hello all, we're now watching All Quiet on the Western Front. Uh, this movie was, this is the 2022 version. Mm -hmm. We've seen the 1979 version years ago by my, uh, our uh, our yeah, our dad showed it to us. And I don't know, I don't remember a thing about it except for the ending. Same. Which is, uh, <laughs> really shows you how much endings stick with you. Yeah. So I'm guessing there's going to be a similar one. But the difference is that this one's German from what I understand. And this is a more modern take, so I'm very curious to see how it plays out. Mm. And uh, we don't really see a lot of World War One movies. 1917 is like the one of the few I can think of. Mm, that and, we've seen uh, recently. Yeah. And there was a uh, documentary, I think, that showed old footage from World War One, directed by, I think, Peter Jackson. Uh, but, have uh, you seen that one? No. I've never. Yeah. I want to watch that one. But uh, yeah. yeah. Let's see the movie take on this. Yeah. Wow. Very lovely logo. Amusement park. Oh yeah, and we're using a uh, our phone for filming rather than our camera. So if you have any feedback for that, let us know. Yeah. <laughs> we don't often do that, but the camera's just the camera's more annoying because we have to swap batteries uh, while filming. The phone we don't have to swap batteries, but we want to know if the audience likes either one. So yeah. I think I remember in the original he was a huge fan of birds. Oh. The main character? Yeah. Wow, that's terrifying, actually. Yeah, it is. How much do you know about World War One? Um, I know how to start it. Sort of. Assassination, right? Yeah. Wow, this is beautifully shot. He looks kind of young. This guy. Yeah, like a barely a kid. He's not even aiming, he's just shooting bullets out. Yeah. <sighs> he's already starting out with being heavy. Yeah. This is one of the most bloodiest wars that's just completely kind of buried by World War II, but... Mm. I remember you told me once, or... Somebody mentioned that World War One was a lot more brutal or violent or something. Of course, all wars are. Like all wars that. are brutal, yeah. man. But World War One was like the first time when there was machine guns. Mm, yeah, I think and that's what I they, read. The problem was the generals didn't learn, so they always did that whole attack over the top, mm. you know, to take ground because they thought ground was more important. And then World War One taught that attrition: you know, mm -hmm. less of your men die, more of their men die. It's, that's good. It changed the warfare forever. This movie was made by a German company. Yeah, I assume so. But given some Netflix money, it looks like. Oh, geez, are they gonna wash the clothes and then send it to the guys? New people coming up? I never really thought about that. I never the thought about that either, aspect. but geez. Yeah. It does save resources, sadly. <sighs> but yeah. And there's Henrik. No longer there. That's kind of sad. The U.S. didn't enter the war until uh, the year before the last war, this war, mm -hmm. this year actually. Because the Germans idiotically decided to uh, interfere with Mexico. But uh, the Americans long before that sided with the Allies, unofficially. Also fake his uh, mm. age. Yeah, the end of the army. Yep. Give me that for now. Oh, so nice of him. Sending off these young men to death. Yeah. He gets to stay back and give lectures. So 18. Jeez. He seems really sad. He knows we're really gonna get sent. Yeah. Oh, I never oh, thought about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, this soundtrack. Very, uh, different. Yeah. <laughs> so 
finally I know Paul. I can't keep track of his friends. So did I get training? Like, what happens? <laughs> 25 kilometers to the western front. Mm. Nice oh, shot. Beautiful yeah. shot. Never even got to see Paris though. Like ever. In the whole war. Wow. I'm sure he's like, why transport them by horse carts when you got trucks? Yeah. I'm not putting them on oh, fast enough. Man, yeah. <laughs> Only because he was helping his, uh, his friend, friend but, um, yeah. because of his glasses. But of course, I just don't care about that. They care about speed. I bet that guy's gonna be a character. Yeah. Yeah. Kaczynski. 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 Kriegst du eine Unterhose? Du meinst das auch immer. Oh, because it's cold? Oh. No, like general? this whole time. Uh, I don't know. They didn't say a date. They said 1917. Yeah, they didn't say. But it had to be around November, right? Because he just turned 18. Ah. Uh, true. They must have spent a few months to train. Yeah, I they think They couldn't have so. just hopped into war, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You're not supposed to shoot. Beautifully shot. Yeah, it is. Reminds me of the flare scene from 1917. Yeah, it does. That scene was amazing. The one where he's running through the city. Mm. This is a huge budget for this movie. The way it's shot. <laughs> the veterans are more calm. Infantry coming. Oh. oh, now they can get out. Oh, they have to get out now? Oh, man. Yeah, I don't think people understand how loud artillery is. <gasps> Plus the concussion you get. You know, over and over and over and over and over. You know, people have been driven mad by how much artillery is fired. Uh. I can't believe that Netflix picks up the... The subtitles for people nearby, I can't even hear them. Oh, same. I can barely hear people talking in the background. Oh, so that's what the German dog text look like. It's kind of ironic he's tying the coat back together to make him look better. And we know that for a fact that they stripped the coats from the dead bodies. So they can give it to the new next yeah. coming people. So. Makes him feel better, but. Recht Karl, Diepholz, 14. September, 1800. Von Galwitz, 
Gustav, Osnabrück, 20. Juni 99. Oh, this is four days before the end of the war ended. The hell? So many shots like this. Yeah. Ob's vorbei ist. Hmm. Huh? This is a famous actor. Really? I forgot his name. <laughs> Isn't he the guy in uh, Captain America Civil War? Oh, that's he's him? He's a European actor. He he ah. speaks many languages. So he plays the uh, the guy who Zemo. got them to fight each other. Zemo. Okay. If that's him, I forgot his name. How did you recognize him? I don't. Oh, so yeah. After spending so many months together, they've gotten along quite well. Unless I missed something. It seems to now be hard to. He's very striking <gasps> eyes. Yeah, he does. <laughs> oh no! French farmers have guns? Why are they within range of the... So he managed to survive this yeah. time. Wow. They have a song for it? <laughs> this woman coming along. Got a comb. Well, they're in occupied France, that's why. Hmm. What's left of it? I don't know how much they had. Smart, that's how you do it. Yeah, see, that guy has brains. Oh, I love that slowly shift out of focus for a second. Mm. Oh, he can't read, maybe? Am Sonntag gehe ich zum Grab von unserem Kleinen. Ich werde ihm wie immer vorlesen, das macht er doch so gerne. Yeah, what a way to reveal that. Yeah. Teeth all white? And now it's all like, you know, after months out here, obviously. I wasn't really paying attention. I think their teeth were white. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention either. So excited to get out. Mm. <laughs> what? Oh, he's the guy from the. Huh. I don't know if this is part of the book. So he said they're looking for some children tomorrow morning? Yeah, apparently. I wonder if he meant when he said children, he means like new soldiers. Yeah, I was wondering that I too. I think. The subtitles are. I think they're being very literal, the subtitles. Mm. Like the translation seems kind of strange, but then that's it's probably conveying the German better. Uh. Oh jeez. Jeez, they're not even phased by it now. <gasps> Man, this is so beautifully shot. Yeah, it is. It's crazy. This framing looks really. I'm scared. Jeez, that frame made it seem like he's gonna die, but yeah, I like think they were toying gonna... with the viewers there. They want to create more tension, I think. Oh, jeez, are they all dead? Oh, no. All the new recruits? Oh, no. Public quiet on the west. Oh, I wonder if he's like the German prime minister or something. He was in dark. Yeah. He immediately was like, wait a second, I've seen this guy before. <laughs> so we might see a number of German actors from dark in this. Oh, they're in French territory now. So he's a delegation that's supposed to sign the end of the war. Oh my god, they're going back out there. Man, this this is beautifully shot. Yeah. There they go here, again. Here, here we go again. The war's supposed to end soon. That's the, that's the really sad part. 
I'm pretty sure this was not in the book. So they added this section where... You have more context, maybe? There's the bow hole. The hole is yeah, still that's, there, yeah. Wow, neat detail. Mm. Oh, okay. I think he becomes a... Chancellor, not not Prime Minister. That's the German name for... Yeah. Oh, man. Man, some of the gore in this. <gasps> oh, the dead horse. Oh, you don't see that often. Hmm. Jeez. I get oh, it again, life again. Well, that was the leader. Oh, man. Jesus. Jeez, they really needed automatic weapons. Oh no. Jesus Christ. All I know was coming up. Wow, look at this shot. Threw in some tanks for some. I feel like the music have been building up to this moment. Yeah, uh, it's not gonna do anything against tanks. These are the first tanks in, in war. Oh uh, no wonder. Yeah. Maybe that. Yeah. You know, like the the last few years of the war, the British and the French started using them. Mm -hmm. The Germans didn't think they were very important to their mistake, so the Germans made very few tanks. But the problem was they broke down a lot. Wow, look at that shot. <laughs> He's literally like a mustache twirling villain. Yeah. Almost. Smart. Oh, jeez. What about that tank? Just had no, no one knew how to use tanks, so the tanks would go way ahead of their lines uh. and get surrounded by enemy infantry. Yeah, see, that's what they how they took them out. What? Oh, flamethrowers! <gasps> oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Holy Christ! <gasps> oh shit. Oh man. They really have these scenes in every single war movie, in a way. Like a scene where the hero, well, not the hero, but the main character is deaf. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. War makes men do terrible things. Oh my god. The thing is, they were just shooting those French soldiers who were trying to surrender too. So, you know, it's like back and forth, just shit. Oh. Like that, see? Wow, look at this shot. Monat in Europa. Marne. Cantigny. 
Cambrai, alles von oben. Yeah, this is the problem. The, the Americans filled everyone with fresh manpower. So the Allies are winning now. Jeez. Uh, I wonder if that's true. He was just motivated by ending the war at this point. Jeez. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, that was a really sad scene. I think this is from the book. I'm 99% sure. Because I feel like there's a scene like this in the original film we watched. It was so tough to watch. That was. Yeah. Do you have any Kleenex? No, I don't have any Kleenex. That's so I only have glasses cleaner. <laughs> Sorry. That's so right. Things men to do to each other. So look at the contrast. Why is the music so eerie, though? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. What's was going on? Over the knee. I don't believe it. There's nothing more. Oh, jeez. Where's the shot? At least you'll be getting out of there. Wie soll ich denn zu Landjäger werden? Ist er tot? Du musst jetzt tapfer sein. Du lebst. And that scene was really hard to watch, actually. Yeah. And this feels like a nightmare, like just going on the ground. No. Oh. Wir müssen alle sterben. Und ich auf den letzten Metern. Oh, don't say that. Not the home stretch. Jeez. Ich denke aber auch so. What the fuck? Hey, help! 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 Oh my fucking god. Fuck, when he's holding that fork, I thought something. I was like wondering why he was look giving it a weird look. Oh, I didn't even mm. catch that. I, I noticed that, but I didn't think much about it. Yeah, no Fuck. wonder they, they lingered a shot on him. I was letting the beat a while. Paul, the gestank wird mir nie wieder los. It's good. Ludwig is tot. Franz is tot. What's going on, Sarah? So he was the Grand Overseer of the Allied Armies. 
because the British and the French kept fighting each other who's in charge and then eventually he got in charge oh yeah that's another German word I know Scheiser for shit we're gonna go steal from the farmer again oh my god I'm afraid something yeah, I think Cat's gonna here. die here yeah that's exactly what's gonna happen Paul's gonna get away a lot of traumatic loss. Don't they got guns though? Like, why don't they just threaten the farmer? I never understood this. Is that a cat? It sounds like a snake. I know, for yeah, like a, I heard that for a second, the hissing. Nobody died there actually. I was afraid that cat would get shot. Yeah. Because they kept not showing scenes with them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they don't care if it's raw or not. They have nothing to eat. Wait, where's he going? What's with the framing? I think he was appreciating the stillness, but now he can hear somebody. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Dying right before the war ends. New men right now, right before what? the war ends? But The war is over. Just fucking don't attack. That bullet hole is still there. He was told he wouldn't last a day. And now he's lasted him. longer than every one of his friends. Hmm. What? Wow, just shooting oh deserters. Oh my god. Now look at his face. He looks uh. like he's been aged. Yeah. Everyone else looks normal, but he looks like he's been aged by a thousand years. Yeah. He's talking about the movie, too. Yeah. You can see the colonial troops there, actually, among the French. Because the French oh. actually uh, didn't second grade their soldiers, I think. I'm not quite clear. Imagine if they made a French version of this movie with their perspective. It'd be just the same. Yeah. Just reverse. Take as much territory as possible before 11 o'clock. Really <sighs> fucked up. Yeah, it is. But it doesn't even matter because and they're gonna get thrown out anyway. So it's just literally pointless. It's his ego and. Ugh. Once again. That is him, right? The young boy. Oh, the young just... kid. Yeah, who just just got recruited in.
the light going down like that. Yeah. Hmm. That's not how I thought I was going to die, actually. No, oh, completely pointless. Completely pointless. The whole thing. Everything. That's the papers from the beginning of the movie. The papers down the school. Mm. The same place I've been fighting over. Good job. This led thousands of more people to die in that last fight. Yep, you lived. Unless someone <laughs> that we knew for longer than two seconds or five <laughs> than this. Oh, and then he's gonna oh, go collect. it's like a rep. <laughs> well, this kid was lucky, I guess. Hmm. Gone the last second of war and survived. He recognized them, I think. Into trench warfare, I assume. Translation there. Yeah, it barely moved. Hmm. It'd be funny for four years over the same, same fucking ground. <sighs> it was pointless. All these poor people. More so I was. Okay. Well, we're done with all the quiet. Wait, all quiet in the Western Front. Getting that mixed up. So, uh, we've seen the. The ending for the 79 version was a little different. And in a way, it was actually kind of... Because here he kind of died dramatically with the bayonet to his back. Pointlessly. In the original, he just stood up and he saw a bird and he went to look at it. He died after getting shot. I want to make a very bad pun when you said pointlessly. He died pointlessly. But I think that's probably... <laughs> you mean... You mean... You mean the knife drove point? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeez. It's kind of uh, morbid, I know. Well, that uh, wow, Well, it goes to show really... you that the... I think the real villains are probably those who call the shots and those who have to... I want to say the villains, but just... Yeah. God, it's pointless. No, it's all pointless. <sighs> that was depressing. Very grim. Of course, now that I think about it, do you think the 79 version, where he just stands up and dies, and then that's the end of the movie? Is that more? Is that a better ending than this? Or not? I think they just want to drive the point across across to the audience. Where Let's just make them the same. Point. Oh shit! <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> like they want you wanted to. I actually don't remember him dying at the end, but I do remember that it made me feel it was so depressing. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Here it's kind of dramatic, with the his death right at the last hour of the war. Which is really sad, uh, too. Yeah. But it's obviously a difference with uh, how they handle uh, drama here. Of course, yeah. Yeah. The acting was wonderful. Like, From everyone. Just, uh, of course, I don't really speak much of any German, so... Uh, I don't know if the subtitles are correct, and uh, we obviously don't... Uh, I'm sure it's correct. We've... Uh, yeah. But there's a lot of heartbreaking scenes, like the scene with them and the wounded... Uh, him with the French soldier that was straight out of the novel, I'm pretty sure, like I said. Because I remember that that exact same scene in the 79 version. So, uh. yeah. And Or just cats just dying, just randomly, just get shot. Everything That's was it. so pointless. They all died horribly, yeah. sadly, depressingly. War. Yeah, war. War fucking sucks. Yeah, it does. So do you think the political scenes add to the movie or subtract from the movie? From my perspective? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's fine. It goes okay. to show you that these people are completely out of touch of what the hell is going on in the battlefield. Yeah, he's mentioned like thousands were dying and I was just like watching Even Paul the run with all those people getting shot. One, two, three, four, five. And all it's just they just become statistics and I was like Yeah. Fuck exactly. At the end that's what he became. Yeah. And then they're going to send those tags back and that guy's gonna be like, Paul yeah, and yeah, yeah. Albert, etc. But also, the ending actually, logically, the ending doesn't make any sense. 
why would the German commander order an attack to take back some land? But they're going to lose it anyway in the treaty because... So I'm really confused about that one. I'm not sure I'm totally happy with that that version. I could see why they did it, though. Like, you see Paul there just standing there looking grim-faced. Everyone else around him looking, like, kind of fresh. and He's completely... Yeah. Desynthesized to what's around him. Yeah. Making this at the 11th hour is an interesting change, though, to the story. Mm. Yeah. Man, the action from him is wonderful. Yeah. He even looks kind of similar to uh, uh, the guy in 1917. Ironically, he looks a little similar. <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> the lead actor. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Great music. So a lot of the dialogue... Sometimes they even have music. They just discuss, talked, you know, talked about life, what they're going to do after the war. Uh, I, there's I, some piano, some it, nice piano. Yeah. It's interesting that they played sad music whenever somebody was cheering, though. Yeah. Like when they were mm -hmm. celebrating, capturing the goose, but the music was still pretty mm -hmm. moody. And then later on, when Cat dies and he's sitting there, sad and and then the music the eerie music plays but everybody around him is cheering yeah and the uh special effects in this were insane like they had this movie had a budget this wasn't just some high school project you could see thousands like hundreds of men like running around with rifles and uniforms and stuff i was really impressed with uh how big the sets were how mm -hmm. many people were in them if you told me this was shot in the middle of COVID, I wouldn't believe you because I'm really impressed. Obviously, you could see, like, the tanks for CG or tops of it. Anyway, I'm not quite sure. And, uh, I guess they had to show tanks just to add drama to it. It's interesting that the tanks came in in the middle of the film. Yeah. One something hour you expect and 14 at the minutes end. in. Yeah, like a boss fight or something. No, the movie doesn't really work that way traditionally. Mm -hmm. You see all the heartbreak in the last half of it. You know, all his friends dying one by one. Yeah. His first friend, Flamethrower. Well, not really his first friend. The Glasses. Oh, uh, the Glasses Man. Yeah. The Glasses Man. That's what we're going to refer to. Because we don't really identify with most of the characters besides Cat. Uh, cat. Yeah. Beautifully shot, though. The movie was gorgeous. Yeah, it was, was just, a beautiful, beautifully made film. I was appreciating the color. Uh... The color in the film it looks it looks so beautiful for such a depressing movie yeah. yeah really very awesome film amazing film i would say yeah very depressing definitely need to think about some more after this yeah, yeah. i feel like the general will sit with us for a while yeah the general might be a bit on the nose i guess that's the that's the term i'm looking for like some of the scenes were abandoned there was with the general. Mm. Yeah. Really interesting though to see the surrender. Not the surrender suit, sorry. The armistice. That's what they're going for. Mm. Yeah, he really wanted the sign. Yeah. Well, you can let us know what you thought of the film. Yeah. I wonder if like for example if the French acting was good. <laughs> because they had a lot of French actors in the last I thought they were all assault. pretty well. Yeah. Oh yeah, you understand a bit of French. <laughs> I suck. So uh yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to All Quiet on the Western Front, and we'll see you guys for the next movie next time. Thank you for watching our reaction. Big thanks to our supporters on Patreon for this, and, uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and have a great day.